Mary's Puppet Show. Peppa and her family are visiting Uncle Pig and Auntie Pig and Cousin Chloe. I expect Uncle Pig will fall asleep after lunch like he always does. Daddy Pig, you shouldn't say such things about your own brother, especially in front of the children. But it's true. Uncle Pig always eats too much lunch and falls asleep, snoring loudly, like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peppa, George, forget what I just said about Uncle Pig. OK, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa and her family have arrived at Uncle Pig and Auntie Pig's house. Hello, Auntie Pig and Uncle Pig. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, Big Brother. Uncle Pig is Daddy Pig's brother. Chloe Pig is Peppa and George's cousin. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I want to show you something. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new puppet theatre. My daddy made it for me. Wow! Ooh. I've made two puppets already. This one is called Chloe. Hello, I am Chloe Pig. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is my daddy, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. I am Uncle Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, can me and George make puppets too? Yes. Chloe paints the puppet's eyes. Can I do the mouth? OK. My name is Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> George, what puppet would you like to make? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? George always says dinosaur for everything. OK, a scary dinosaur puppet. Chloe is making George a dinosaur puppet. It needs pointy teeth. There, a scary dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> lunch time, everyone. Coming. After lunch, we'll do a puppet show. Hooray! <laughs> Auntie Pig has made spaghetti for lunch. This spaghetti is delicious. Best spaghetti ever. You can tell you two are brothers. Alike in every way. What do you mean? We are completely different. <laughs> Pepper, George and I are going to do a puppet show. Fantastic! Call us when you're ready. <laughs> See you later. A puppet show? That sounds fun. Have I got time for some more spaghetti? Could I have some more too? <laughs> <laughs> the puppet show is about to begin. Hello, my name is Chloe. And I am Peppa. Ah, it's a dinosaur! A scary dinosaur! Eek. Oh, I say, that's very good. Bravo! I am Uncle Pig. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it looks just like you. I think they've made my tummy a bit big. Ho, oh, oh, ho. I did enjoy my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Pig, are you going to fall asleep? And snore like you always do. What do you mean? Daddy says you always fall asleep and snore loudly, like this. <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, your daddy's right. I do snore like this. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you shouldn't have said those things about Uncle Pig. I don't think Daddy Pig or Uncle Pig can hear you. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig have fallen asleep. You can tell they are brothers. <laughs> hey, what happened? Huh? Has the puppet show started yet? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has made a special box for Peppa. Peppa, this box is just for you. Thank you, Mummy. It's a secret box for you to keep secret things in. What things can I put in it, Mummy? <laughs> Only you can decide that, Peppa. 
It's your secret box. I know what I can put in it. Good, but don't tell me. I won't tell you or George or Daddy. It's a secret. George, this is my secret box. It's empty. I have to find some things to put inside. <laughs> George wants to help Pepper. No, George. Only I must know what's in the box. You have to wait outside while I choose. <laughs> Pepper is going to choose some secret things to put in the box. <laughs> now my secret box is full. George, you must not look inside. George would like to know what is inside Pepper's secret box. If you like, you can try to guess. <coughs> dinosaur! George thinks Pepper has put a dinosaur in the box. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. <coughs> anyway, a dinosaur is too big to fit in the box. George cannot guess what is in Pepper's secret box. Daddy Pig is cleaning a picture. Daddy, this is my secret box. Mummy made it for me. It's very nice, Pepper. What's inside? It's a secret. George tried to guess, but he didn't get it right. Can I have a try? Yes. Hmm. Have you put my glasses inside? No. <laughs> glasses are on your head. So they are. Silly Daddy, you must have a proper guess. OK. Have you put Mummy's shoes in the box? Nope. And that's all your guesses used up. Pepper likes secrets. Mummy, no one knows what's in my box. Oh, what has George got? I made a box for George too, and he's filled it with secret things. And only George knows what's inside. Oh. Pepper would like to know what is inside George's box. It's George's toy dinosaur, of course. No. George's toy dinosaur is not in George's box. <laughs> it's too difficult. I'll never guess. Pepper does not like secrets as much as she used to. Maybe if you showed George one thing from your box, then he could show you one thing from his. OK, but we must do it at the same time. That's a good idea. On the count of three, you each show what's in your boxes. Ready? Yes. One, two, three! George has a drum. <laughs> and Pepper has a trumpet. <laughs> Yes, it sounds very nice. Do you have any more secret things? <laughs> George has a custard donut. Oh. But Pepper's box is empty. I've got nothing else. Luckily, I have. Come on, tuck in. George, Pepper, Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig all like custard donuts. I don't have a special box, but I know a very good place to hide my custard donut. Can you guess where? Are you going to hide it in the fridge? No. Somewhere much more special. My tummy. Mm, delicious. <laughs> I'm going to hide mine in my tummy. Me too. <laughs> Fun fact. Today, Pepper and her family have come to the fun fair. <laughs> I love the fun fair. <laughs> slidey, slidey! George wants to go on the helter skelter. OK, see you later. See you later. Roll up, roll up. Hook a duck and win a giant teddy. Mummy, can we have a go? OK. One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. Win the giant teddy, Mummy. I'll try, Pepper, but I don't think it's that easy. You're right. You've got no chance. What? It's impossible. Waste of money, if you ask me. We'll see about that. Mummy Pig has won. Hooray! That's 
amazing. Here's your giant teddy. Wouldn't you like a little teddy instead, Peppa? No way, Jose. <laughs> Look, Mummy, a giant teddy. It's a bit big. No, it's not. George and Daddy Pig are queuing for the Helter Skelter. Hmm, it's a bit high, George. Are you sure you want to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> One pound, please. One pound? It's all for a good cause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It is a bit too high for George. Don't worry, George. I'll come up with you. That's one pound, please. Oh. <laughs> George isn't afraid of heights anymore. Ooh. It is a bit high, isn't it? I'll just go down the stairs. The stairs are full of children. That's the way down, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Whoa! <laughs> roll up, roll up. Hit the target and win a giant teddy. You can do that easy, Mummy. We don't want to win another giant teddy, Pepper. Don't worry. You won't win. Women are useless at this. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's a game of skill. How much for one go? One pound. <laughs> Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. <laughs> Phew. I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Roll up, roll up. Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. If the bell rings, you win a prize. <laughs> no skill involved. But you need to be strong. I'll have a go. One pound. Bad luck. Ho, oh, oh, ho. I'm strong. I'll have a go. Stand back, everyone. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. You're not that fit. Oh, oh yes, Daddy Pig is looking a bit tubby. What? I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy. Give me that hammer. Goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. That wins all the giant teddies we have. Hooray! <coughs> Mummy, can we give these teddies to my friends? What a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Peppa. Peppa. Most kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 Naughty tortoise. It is a lovely autumn day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the leaves. Look, it's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. What are you doing here? Tiddles. Tiddles. It is Dr Hamster, the vet. Here's Tiddles. Thank goodness you found him. Oh, Naughty Tartice. Back in your box. It's your bedtime. It's not bedtime yet. It's bedtime for Tiddles. He sleeps all through the winter and wakes up in spring. That sounds nice. You like sleeping, don't you, Pedro? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Tiddles? Tiddles has run away. <gasps> Look, he's up that tree. Oh, Tiddles, I don't know why you like climbing trees. <sniffs> How are we going to rescue Tiddles? Chop the tree down. <laughs> no. I'll ring the fire brigade. 
Fire service? What's that? Tore us up a tree? Again? We're on our way. Stand clear. Fire engines use ladders to rescue pets from trees. Come on, Tiddles. Tiddles is climbing higher in the tree. Come here, you little pickle. Mummy Cow is climbing into the tree. Be careful, Mummy Cow. Oh, dear. I'm stuck. Cows are not very good at climbing trees. Hang on. I'm coming up. Here, Tiddles. Oh, I'm stuck too. Elephants are not very good at climbing trees. Well, that didn't work, did it? <coughs> what are we going to do now? Chop the tree down. No! no! I'll call the next rescue service. Hello! Granddad Dog's Breakdown Service. Hello. Tiddles the Tortoise is up a tree. Tortoise up a tree? Again? I'll be right there. Hmm. <laughs> How do you get tortoises out of trees? Chop the tree down! Yes, let's chop the tree down. No! OK, I'll climb up instead. Hooray! Oh, I seem to be stuck. Dogs are not very good at climbing trees. Now can we chop the tree down? No. We'll have to call the highest rescue service in the land. OK, I'm on my way. It is Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Hello, everyone. Let's rescue this tortoise. Uh, who's flying your helicopter? Oops, silly me. I'll just put the autopilot on. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Got you, you little rascal. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for saving my Tiddles. No problem, Mom. Thank, Thank you, you for saving, saving us, us too. too. Just doing my job. Goodbye. Eh, uh, haven't you forgotten something? What? Oh, yes! My helicopter! <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye! What a naughty tortoise you are. <sighs> oh, good. You're sleepy now. Back in your box. Sleep well, Tiddles. Tiddles has gone to sleep for the winter. He will wake again in the springtime. Shh! <laughs> Lost keys. Pepper and her family have been for a lovely day out in the mountains. Time to go home. Back to the car. Thank you for visiting the mountain beauty spot. See you again soon. No, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. <laughs> You're playing with the car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig! Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. 
The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr Pool and his friends. Digger! Crane! George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Mr, Mr Bull. Bull. Welcome to the Mountain Beauty Spot. Have you come to do some work? No! It's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back. That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the chief. Did you find our keys? No. <gasps> the crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road! Hooray! <laughs> Mr Bull is digging up the beauty spot. Stop! What's going on? We came to see the beauty spot. Uh, they're digging it up right now. Won't be long. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh. oh. Hold it! Hold it! It's the keys! We've got them! Hooray! There you go! Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, it was nothing. Uh... Where's the beauty spot gone? The mountain beauty spot is now a big hole. It's a cave now. Welcome to the cave beauty spot. Ooh. Ooh. All thanks to my daddy. Uh, and Mr Bull. Yes, I'm good at digging holes. Mr Bull loves digging holes. <laughs> Everybody loves digging holes. <laughs> Pepper and her playgroup are visiting London for the day. Children, this is London. Wow, it's so busy. There's so much to see, I just can't decide where to go first. My friend the Queen lives in London. Maybe she can help. This is the palace where the Queen lives. Hello? Please can I speak to the Queen? I am the Queen. Who are you? It's Miss Rabbit. You said if I was ever in London, I should drop in to see you. Ah, oh, Miss Rabbit. Come in, come in. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Queen. Queen. We're visiting London for the day. We were hoping you could tell us the best places to see. I can do better than that. After all, London is my city. I'll give you a guided tour myself. Hooray! <laughs> the best way to see London is on a double-decker bus. Ooh. Mr Driver, please may we borrow your bus. Borrow my bus? You must be joking. No, I am your Queen. In that case, Your Majesty, take it. If the Queen asks you to do something, you must do it. Everyone up to the top deck. <laughs> the bus has stairs in it. The double-decker bus has seats at the top. I'm the Queen and I will be your tour guide today. Bus stop, Big Ben. <laughs> this tall clock tower is called Big Ben. Actually, Big Ben is the bell, not the tower. You know a lot for a little elephant. I'm a clever clogs. Oh. <laughs> Big Ben telling us the time. 
It rang three times. So it is three o'clock. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times? Then it would be broken. <coughs> On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. <coughs> Going to bang into the bridge. <gasps> the bridge is lifting up. Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> The bus is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK. <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Buses are the best. Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. Next stop, Trafalgar Square. Oh dear, what a shame. Trafalgar Square is full of puddles. But we love Puddles. <laughs> Come on, have a splash, Your Majesty. It does look rather fun, and one is wearing one's boots. Whee! <laughs> the Queen loves jumping in London puddles. Everybody loves jumping in London puddles. <laughs> Pepper and her family are visiting Madame Gazelle. Hello, Madame Gazelle. Hello, everyone. Come in, come in. Whoa! 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 Your hallway is a big slide, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> is it meant to be like that? No, the house is just old. Everything here is a little bit wonky donkey. Oh, everything is leaning now, but it wasn't always this way. When did your house start leaning, Madam Gazelle? Oh, I don't know. It's been so long. And now I have cracks everywhere, too. Hmm. I think your house might need fixing. Can't I just paper over the cracks and paint it? That is what my builder told me to do. What does the outside wall look like? Ah, what's this? Oh, that is my little Christmas tree. That's not little. That's big. It was from Christmas a long time ago. It was a little baby tree with a fairy on top. After Christmas, I could not bear to throw it away. So I planted it in the garden. Your baby tree has grown so much, it's pushing your house over. That's why your house is all wonky donkey. Oh dear, what can we do about it? I'll call Mr. Bull. Hello, Mr. Bull. We have a big tree that needs looking at. I'll be right there. So, oh, where's this tree, then? Here it is. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle. Strong roots. Yes, but it's pushing the house over. Oh, yes. Let's chop it down. Oh, dear, my poor tree. Stop! I saw something move in the tree. It was a little animal. In that case, I must take a look. Before Mr. Bull chops the tree down, he must check that no animals are living in it. 
Ah! Mr. Bull has found a bird's nest. Look at that! Little birdies nesting in your tree, Madam Gazelle. Please, can I see the birdies? OK, Peppa. We can watch from the windows. Ooh, lovely birdies. I think there's something else higher up the tree. Look what's here. Fuzzy bees. <laughs> Let's see what else there is. I say, look at this. <gasps> it's an owl. Oh, I think I see something else. Onward and upward. Aha! You've got bats, Madame Gazelle. Ah, my friends, the bats. They remind me of the old country. And what's this? Ah, my Christmas decorations. And a fairy. That is the fairy I put on the little tree all those years ago. It's a magnificent tree. A wonderful home to so many little animals. Yes, this tree should not be chopped down. Hooray! But wait, if the tree stays, what will happen to my house? Well, eventually it will fall over. But I need a house to live in. Oh. oh. Huh, I've got an idea. We'll put your house in the tree. Mr. Bull, the crane, please. Right you are. It's a tree house. <laughs> yes, it is wonderful. I have always wanted to live in a tree house. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves tree houses. Everyone loves tree houses. <laughs>